Welcome back to the channel guys and to another video. In today's video we're carrying on with the tool and guess what? It's all welded. So I'll be sticking this into the lathe to do the next phase of machining. Hope you guys are enjoying it thus far. Within a welding job, you have a certain amount of pulling that takes place, no matter, no matter how thick the steel is, no matter how thin the steel is, you always have a certain amount of pulling. So on this job, after welding this and welding inside here, we have, if you look carefully, then you can see there's a slight wobble can see there's a slight wobble on this so that is why I put it on the shaft which is running through and then we're going to machine this now I'm going to machine this through to the shaft I'm going to machine this lot through to the shaft now So you can actually hear the points of contact to show how distorted this thing is. I'm just machining it through. I'm just touching it. I'm not taking much off. I'm just touching it just to through the, the two faces here to go back into the chuck. Okay, so I'm doing this face now. This one is complete. I'm just doing this face now. Then I'll put it back into the chuck. Okay, so I turned the the job and I put it back into the lathe. So I'm just now tuning this again. But all of this distorted a bit with the, with the welding. This face on top is through. The section is all in the chuck. That is all through now. So now I'm just tuning this to this face again now. Do that. So I uh, thought I'll just run the tool along the shaft just to make sure the shaft is also square to, to the rest of the job. Shaft seems to be okay, it's not really much wobble there anymore. Really. This whole the whole body is that's running relatively okay. Well good enough. It's much more square to than what it was. Okay, finish now, let's have a look. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. I'll open this up a little bit here. Then we're good to go. Okay, back to the whiteboard. So as I showed you the little photo, the main body is complete. So now it's cone time.
Okay, so I'm at the at the actual body now, and let me just put this brake disc over here. It's going to sit something like that on there, something to that effect. And for measure this depth down here, that is 25. Say 25 millimeter. Just do another, just do another check here quickly. Yeah, that's about 25 millimeter. Okay. So this section here, including the disc here, the thickness of the disc is 25 millimeter. It's 25 millimeter. So in this cone, I think 30 millimeter will be perfect with a taper which I will still determine. So I'd say from there to there should be 30 millimeter as I kind of worked it out there. And then I'll just run the taper according to to uh, what this section is going to be here. Uh, in that section right now, That is um, 42.6 millimeter. 42.6 millimeter here. Yeah. So I'll probably make this section here have a lip of about six or so millimeter each side here. Yeah. So then this will probably be, let's say, 55 millimeter. Let's say 55 more. No, that's a 55 more. Yeah, let's say 55 more here. 30 more here. And then the taper will run from that section to the 30 more over there. Theoretically, that's that's the plan to come out to something to that effect. Okay, let's stick, stick it in the lathe now and let's see what happens. on the toe now. I'm doing that by turning this gear here. As I showed you early on before I started cutting I actually turned this the post to 50 degrees. I have to turn that 50 degrees as you can see here. here. Let's see how this works out. So I can always change the angle and fine tune the, the cone as you go. I'm done with the tape now. Let's just check out the 
Let a disc sit on it. Okay. So the taper does into the disc and it's just about flush. Which I think should be alright. Should any disc be bigger it means it will carry on in and there's only like six, 16 millimeter or something on the inside. So I think that should work. I think that should work. That should be good to go. Okay. Let's part it off. Let's finish this cone, this cone section off. Okay, that's the cone done, guys. I'm just going to part it off now. I'm just going to cut it off. And I'm going to put this side in the chuck. Face that area off. And then let's see how it fits. Didn't come out too bad. Okay, so I'm ending this video right here, guys. I hope you are finding it informative. Could be a little bit tedious. But yeah, I like to explain things so that um, I know you're on the same page as what I am when I, when I do things. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Put comments in. It will be interesting to hear what you guys have to say. Tell your friends about it. Tell your family about it. I have, uh, there's a lot more to come guys, I've got uh, quite a few things to, to show you. So hit the notification bell, but to miss out on any of those videos. Until the next one.